this uh, is that your name was a was man All right. <coughs> hello hello how are you my friend uh, everything is good that's good uh, uh, you know I'm not expert about the Bible so I cannot comment on it and I'm not an expert on the Quran but I can tell you what uh, I believe as a Muslim mm. you see uh, I believe that Jesus uh, is a messenger but when the Quran says Jesus is the Son of God, I mean, when the, you see, wait, I am in pressure, but this is the first time, okay? Uh, uh, look, the Quran does not say one, one equals one, the G, that the Christian says one uh, plus one plus one is three. What the Quran is saying is, that you have taken a man who is 100% God and 100% human is uh, a human and God at the same time. Okay. So the Quran have a problem with that because when you say human and God at the same time, it causes, it causes a very problem. That's what the Quran is saying. It is not saying one equals one and equals and the Christian saying that. Okay. No, no. Okay. that's my claim. Listen, my friend, when your prophet, he said, when your prophet, he compare between a fat short man and your God and that fat short man is a man and he says if you are confused between them you better know that Allah is not one eye which means the only difference between both is the right eye that's mean Allah is a man so how you can answer that uh, can you say uh, this is what you think as a looking the prophet says I'm showing it in the screen you can look at real please okay I'm watching it. Wait. Uh, let me read it. The prophet said, I have told you so much about Christ is short. Give me a second, please. Because I, I'm not expert. My friend, I will give you okay. I will give you five minutes. Call me back. Read the hadith carefully. Search Google. Okay. All right. Okay. Search Google, Yahoo. Call your friends and call me back. You sound like a nice guy. I would like to talk to you. You are welcome. All right. And I, no I appreciate people who they are polite. And I would like to hear the answer from you. No problem. Call me back. Okay. All right. Thank you. If Allah is not a man, I mean, isn't it obvious? Muhammad saying, don't be confused between Allah and this man. Ad-Dajjal is a man. Ad-Dajjal simply is a person who will claim to be Jesus. The Antichrist in Islam is different from what Antichrist in Christianity, for many Christians do not know. The Antichrist in Islam is someone who will claim to be Jesus. He is the false de Jesus, which means he's a man. And Muhammad is warning the Muslim not to be confused between him and the fall and, and Allah. And what is the confusion obviously coming from? Is from the look. That's why he is describing how he looked like. He is describing how he looked like. And as you see, the description about a man just a normal man he is describing how he look like he is describing how tall he is he is describing if he's uh, skinny or fat describing his eyes describing his hair i mean it's just a man and yet muhammad he is worried that the muslims will be confused between this man and allah and how we will know that allah is not that man that man had a problem, and the problem is the right eye. Allah is not one-eyed, that's all, which means everything else is the same. Everything else is exactly the same. The only difference between this man, okay. we have a caller. Hello? Hello. Yes. Very good evening. Good evening, my friend. 
can you please uh, show Yeremia 8 8 on your screen? Uh, uh, our topic is Islam, my friend. What do you want? Can you please put Yeremia 8 8 no, I cannot on your show screen? right now. Can you, can you turn the camera for me and do belly dancing for us? Pardon? Can you turn the camera and do belly dancing for us? What does have to do with our topic? We are talking about the Quran. We have a topic. Are you a kid? I will tell you how it is Quran. No, please, no, eight, eight. no, no, Get me eight, no, eight. no, 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 no. Are you going to answer the topic or you are here to play no. games? I, I will answer if you keep the verse. No, I no, I, the, 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 the verse you are quoting for me has nothing to do with my topic. And my to, and how my do topic, you know if you did just, not put just, it on the just, screen? No, I don't. I, I, don't mm -hmm. I do not need to put for you anything in the screen. My topic is Islam, and you Muslims are a bunch of idiots. I have no problem to put any verse I want in the street. You can post it in the text, and people will laugh at you. When they are unable to answer, they want to change the topic. As simple as that. What does this have to do with our topic? Like, did you? Did I call my show Bible study? Is a Christian prince inviting people to talk about the Bible? You must have a bunch of kids. And not only that, you go and you copy from a website. Look what the Christian Bible says. And then if we get you busted from the Bible, what you will do? If you are not even able to answer about your religion, what about you show me first how you can answer this dumb, stupid things in your religion and then you go to the Christians. Isn't it the Christian book is corrupt anyway? And by the way, as long as the Christian book is corrupt, how your prophet, he swear by that book. As long as you are asking me to quote it from the Old Testament, how your prophet, he says, I believe in thee. And the one who sent thee, is your prophet was a hypocrite and a liar? Huh? The book you are making fun of Your prophet, he took an oath of it Do you see it? The Jews, they invited Muhammad And they asked him about a topic About women she commit fornication the message of Allah, they gave him a caution to sit on it. The prophet of Allah, he said, bring the Torah. Bring what? The Torah. The book you are asking me to quote from, Abdul. Abdul, are you listening? Bring the Torah. Let me speak it to you as the Jews. Bring the Torah, my friend. Bring, bring the Torah. Did you go bring the Torah? Okay. He bring the Torah. What Muhammad he did? He would draw the caution from beneath in him, beneath him, and he placed the Torah on it, saying, "I believe in thee, and him who sent thee." Did your prophet swear? He just swear by Omiya, Abdul. Did your prophet just swear by that verse you are making fun of, saying, "I believe in thee." I mean, what a scumbag your prophet must be then to swear by a book it is funny and stupid as you are trying to say. Christians, are you learning how to get the Muslim busted? Are you learning? Do you see how we get them busted? If the Torah is corrupt and the Torah is book and the Torah is stupid and the Torah is funny and you are calling me to make fun of it, why are you a prophet saying I believe in thee? How come your Muslim don't believe in thee but Muhammad believe in thee? Maybe Muhammad was a Shia. I think Muhammad was a Shia. I think uh, uh, Muhammad was what, what is what the name of this guy? Uh, the guy who uh, the Shia guy became famous. What his name? All right, my friend, was man. I, I will let you talk. Just uh, give me, give me a minute. Muhammad is swearing by thee and saying, "I believe in thee." 
So how dumb is the Muslims to believe in the if the the is corrupt? Hmm? If the the is corrupt. I mean, seriously, Muslims officially they have mental issue. But I hope not all of them. You see, like the, the, the gentleman he just called me a minute ago, sound like he's a nice guy, you know, and maybe sound he want to listen. You see, but but if somebody here want to play games, you can play games with Christian Prince. You have no idea who's a Christian Prince. I have no mirrors in my home because I get scared from debating myself. I lose. Don't ever try to play games with me. You are no match. We will take a, a break with an old video. Uh, make a cup of tea. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. <sighs> All right. I don't like people to speak forever and say nothing. So I want you to get me busted if we can say so in a friendly way. It makes way. a copy of tea and send you the debate. My view is right. to get you busted in a friendly way. All right. So when you see me saying to you, I need a text, or you see my hand up, please give me the mic back. I will just ask you a question about something you say. Or I will make a comment. I give you the mic back. It's, it's just a way to switch the mic between us because this is pair talk. One person can speak at the time, and we have no other option. It's not like a phone conversation where both of us we can speak. So just watch the text. If I say to you, uh, "Can you please give it a mic?" Mic, give it to me. Or if I put my hand up, then the same you can do the same for me. Mr. Uh, Mustang D, I've been told in Facebook that he is a person who do Dawa in, in, uh, in New York or in New Jersey. I'm not sure if this is true. Uh, and uh, he, he is a very active person. And I don't know if he believes he's a sheikh, but I think he grow a beard. Is that correct, Mr. D? So, which means you consider yourself something like, like that. So let us see how much knowledge you have in your religion. And what is your question about my belief? The mic is yours, and you are more than welcome. <laughs> uh, hi, greetings. So, uh, am I heard? Beautiful. Okay. So, um, thanks for the uh, kind invitation there, uh, Christian Prince. I really do appreciate your kind words. I haven't been on Pal Talk in a while, probably over a year and some change. I used to be quite active, uh, especially back in, I guess you can say, 2008 to 2010, 11, whatnot. But anyway, that's irrelevant. <laughs> uh, so, again, thanks for the invitation, and uh, I'm happy that we can uh, discuss and share some common grounds here and uh, ultimately come to a goal or seek to achieve here. Now, um, I do want to point out that uh, the reason why I'm here right now is because there was someone who came to one of my posts and dropped uh, a message. It was regarding a post that I put uh, where the term Allahu Akbar is mentioned. And uh, we had a, you know, a little bit of a confrontation regarding what the term Akbar means. He uh, unfortunately started getting somewhat disrespectful and I looked in past messages and I found that he was actually very disrespectful where he said things like Muhammad, pork be upon him, piss be upon him and whatnot. So, um, you know, may God uh, forgive him for that. That's I think that's very wrong and disrespectful and uh, I, I don't appreciate that. I think if we're going to have a dialogue it should be with respect and in a civilized manner. That's the only 
Uh, if we're willing to discuss under those terms, I'm fine with discussing. As for you mentioning um, that I'm a Dai, and by the way, my name is Muslim Dai. Um, on Pal Talk here. All right, we'll so you can have correct. Can you hear me now? Yeah, it looks like we have uh, him calling again. Yeah, okay, uh, go ahead. We will go back to the look, topic and later we can play uh, this. Uh, let me understand what you are trying to do. All right. Look, you know that Muslims don't read the hadith. You know very well. They don't even know the explanation of the hadith. So what, 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 do you, what, the, 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 what the Muslims know then? What the Muslims know? There is some Muslim who knows, but most of no, them... They no, don't what, okay, know you, the you, 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 as a, you, you as a Muslim, my friend, what do you know? Look, what I know is this. Yeah. I talk about it, that Jesus is the Son. We cannot, we don't have to repeat it again. We know what we believe. But I'm going to add this uh, uh, after this. Uh, look, we, we don't believe that uh, the, the Jal is uh, God. We believe that it is a false Messiah who is going to come after uh, mm -hmm. uh, in the time uh, in the end of before end, the ending of the world. All right, and there is going to be a false God, but okay. it is not going to be a God. No, no, I'm not. I'm not I, did, did I say he is going to be God? I did not say that, my friend. Listen to me carefully. Mm -hmm. the, the question is, why your prophet comparing between his look and Allah? And you think you Muslims will be confused because of the look? Because God is going to give them powers, uh, the power. Okay. But uh, if you lie, you know, good good Muslims who practice will understand that he's a false god. My friend, if That's do, what you, do you see, my friend, do you see in the hadith where the prophet he mentioned anything about the power? No. He is just describing the look of the two person. One, his name is at the Jal, which means the false Messiah, and the other yes. one is your God. So the comparison between them is just the look. Now, that the Jal is a man. Do you agree? He's a man. He claimed to be the Messiah, correct? Yeah, yeah yes. But, but he's a false man. He's a liar, but he's a man. Okay. So why the Muslims will be confused about the look of Allah and the look of this man if Allah is not a man? Because God will give them powers. No, no, no. You see? Okay, what, what, you see, my friend, my, my friend, my friend, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. Listen, listen carefully. My friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, how, how we will recognize this man who will have a power? You're a prophet, say, he did not say he have one eye have a problem. No, he said you better know that he is one eyed and your God is not one eyed. So he is afraid that you will be confused about him and about your yes, about, about your yes. Lord. Okay, I'm agreeing with that. Yeah, why why you will be confused? Listen, listen. And follow that what's, what's your name? What's your name? They will think he's God. Yeah, my friend, what's your name? Uh, my name is uh, Osman. Osman. Okay. Uh, All right, Mr. Mus Osman. Uh, the, he compare between the look of Allah and the look of the man. He's afraid you will be confused, and the only difference between them is one eyed. So Allah have. A look of a man and the only difference between this man and Allah is one eyed how that can be because uh, it doesn't say that Wait it says that in the front of you my friend he is he is saying if you are confused about him confused yes. about know him. that your Lord is not okay. one eye. what because God doesn't have one eye so it does what, not have what, to say what, that. what Allah what Allah have what Allah have? Okay, what, Allah, what no he is comparing he is he's afraid he will be confused Allah have one is not one eye how many eyes Allah have we don't know uh, I mean what we do don't know mean? how God looks what, what do you mean what do you mean we don't know we, we don't know how God looks we okay so put, so uh, how you know much. how you know he is not a man then what I didn't hear you how, no. how you know he is not a man if you do not know how Allah look like how you know he is not a man for sure uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you mean uh, not by my, my I know friend, that he's my not a man. friend, he my friend. A man. No, 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 no. I did not ask I did not say to you he became a man or etc. No, I said to you the question is very simple. If you do not know how Allah looked like, how you know for sure he is not a man? You don't know how he looked like, you just said that. How you know he is not a man? He does not because he created man. How he can? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So, Jesus, Jesus in the in the Quran, he created from the bird from the mother bird. Doesn't mean he's a bird. But uh, 
Like if uh, you're uh, talking about the clay of the doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Create, if you create me as a man, it doesn't matter. Even your prophet, he said in the hadith that Allah he created Adam in His image. Do you want to show it to you? Wait, wait, wait. When we when he says image, that does not mean uh, created like a man. You have to understand, my friend. This is Adam. This is Adam. This is Adam. He's talking about Adam. خلق الله آدم على صورته الله هي created آدم in his image what does that mean image does not does not mean a picture it does what image means that we have some we have some for example we have love yes we have some characteristic yes no so so is that is that is that we are we the same as Allah in that in that manner no so what what does mean Allah created آدم in his image when we say image it 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 is I think it is uh, English. It is not uh, similar like Arabic. No, my friend. This is this is a phrase. I'm sorry. This is a phrase. Because, uh, this is a phrase, my friend. Muhammad copied from the Old Testament, where God he says, "I created Adam in my image." And let me ask you a question then. Why you are a prophet? He said, "Don't beat a man in his face." Because, why sorry. why you are a prophet? He said, "Don't beat a man in his face." Don't beat men and switch. Yeah, why? Uh, what? But, but you have to understand what I believe first, because uh, my, you friend, are using my, my, my friend, my friend, it's very my friend, my friend, my friend. See, why the question? My, my friend, like listen carefully. You are using sixteen hadith in uh, in the. I have to use the hadith. This is your book. This is your prophet. Okay. I'm not. I'm not no, using. This is not the word of God. Sorry. No, it is the word of Allah. The, the Quran itself is a hadith. Don't you know that? Uh, it's uh, translated like a hadith. No, like no, hadith. no. The word of uh, the Quran is a hadith. Let me show you, if my friend. Obviously, you know right. nothing about Islam. Here we go. Allah who answer the Ahsan al-Kitab hadithan. Allah he sent the best of the book hadith. So he sent the hadith. He did not send the book. Okay. Okay. Do you believe that uh, the Bible is inspired? Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. No, no, I'm not changing. Okay. I'm not changing. Did Allah say in the Quran? Did Allah say in the Quran? Allah he said. Did, did Allah? Is, Allah is, do, you, do you believe say, there is a point when the scripture of God my friend, becomes inspired? Did, does the Quran without, say uh, without proof? Inspired me. What's man? What's what, what, man? What's man? Did Allah say yeah. that Allah he sent the Quran as a hadith? Yes or no? Yes, okay. it is a hadith. So why you are saying to no. me I'm focusing in the hadith when the Quran itself is a hadith? Because it has to be a hadith. It is a speech of God. Because mm -hmm. uh, so uh, how you can understand uh, 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 what uh, what make you think it's a speech of God when Muhammad is the one who said it and there's no witnesses? Wait, do we have uh, the Bible? The Look, I said it again. Do Muhammad have a witness? Do Muhammad have a witness that he spoke to God ever? Look, do you believe? Did, that, uh, did Muhammad Jesus speak to God? Listen, listen. Did Muhammad speak to God? Yes or no? Yes, I believe it. But look, no, no, he did not. Show me, show me, show me where, show me where, 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 where Allah spoke to Muhammad. Let me ask you a I'm question. Sorry. Listen, my, my friend, my friend. You cannot prove everything. The, ch the chapter, the chapter you, you the chapter you use. Uh, listen, listen. The chapter yeah. you pray five times a day. What it's called? Uh, Salat. No, no. The chapter you read every day. What it's called? Uh, Fatiha. Al Fatiha. Do you yeah. know when Muhammad he received Al Fatiha, he was doing what? Uh, I don't know uh, what he was doing. Okay. What if I show you? What if I show you that Muhammad, when he received Al-Fatiha, he was doing poo, poo Can you say show me in the YouTube? I'm sure. Well, hold on. Let me. I'm going to open the Muslim website because I don't like to to uh, show you from a Christian website or something like that. Here we go. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan, owned by the King of Jordan, who is claiming that he is descendant from the family of Muhammad. This is the book of Asbab al Nuzul. If you do not know what Asbab al Nuzul mean, it's mean the reason for the chapter to come down. It says here that each time the Prophet he went out to do pupu, each time he went out to do pupu, he went out, he hears someone calling him saying, Oh Muhammad. And whenever he heard this, he used to he used to flee. Do you see it? <clears throat> 
you wait to see some code in here in a minute. Uh, yeah? Sorry, but uh, I don't understand. I mean, I have never read this. Uh, it doesn't matter, I my haven't. friend. You never read this because you are talking to Christian friends, and when you talk to me, you will learn a lot of things. However, it's in your, your book. This is your Muslim website. Let me give it to you in the text, in the, in the, in the chat. You can open it from your side, and you can search. You are a prophet. He received the most important chapter for you Muslims when he was doing pupu. Mm. How do you explain that? Mm. He sees to flee. And not only this. Each time he hears the angel, he run away. Why? Wait, what is the meaning of flee? Because flee, I flee, flee, flee my friend. Flee means flee mean he run. He run. He run. He ran away. Where are you from, uh, Osman? Where are you from? Which, which country? Uh, I am from uh, Israel, but uh, hmm. All right. uh, I'm a Caucasian. Uh, I'm not Arabic, but I know some words of Arabic. No problem. But I'm not, uh, no problem, my friend. You are welcome. No wonder you are polite. Okay. Hmm. So what, how do you explain to me that if Muhammad he spoke to Allah and sorry uh, he received inspiration from Allah, why Muhammad after receiving almost fifty verses a chapter from the Quran, he is flying and he's he's running away and why the angel cannot wait until Muhammad finish his pupu? I mean, have you ever heard of an angel he come to you when you are in the bathroom? He can't wait. And why he's running away? What the problem? Why Muhammad is scared? Muhammad already he spoke to the angels tons of time. So why he's he why he flee? Is that the first time he speak to him? Uh, he talks. Uh, maybe it is not. Uh, it is. Uh, uh, this is the explanation they give. Uh, just like that, without uh, even uh... my friend, my friend. This is a book. It's called Asbab al Nuzul. Let me explain to you what Asbab al Nuzul in Arabic means. The reason for the Quran to come down. So there's the, the Muslim. They made a book, scholars. It's called the reason for the verse to come down. Which means they explain to us in that verse why this verse. What is the reason? What happened? Why? What? How it came? When it came? What happened? So this is what the book is saying. And this is your Islamic book explaining what happened. You're a prophet each time, not only once, each time you want to go out to do popo, he hear a voice saying to him, Muhammad, and then Muhammad, he run, and he flee. So why? I really, I cannot answer this because okay. I need to... So how do you know that I Muhammad... To, I, I tell you, my uh, friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. I can show you about that. My friend, my friend. I have very friends. You are Muslims, do not know the Quran. This is, we are not reading hadith now, we are reading Quran. This is a story in the Quran. The story here is explained how the Muhammad received the verse. So the verse which you recite five times a day, huh? it came to Muhammad when he's doing pupu. And it doesn't make sense. The Muslim, they say to us, the bathroom is dirty. God is not in the bathroom. Angels will not enter the bathroom. And then when Muhammad is doing pupu, he received Al-Fatiha, the most chapter important, which you Muslim repeat five times a day. And then he flee. Why he flee? Why he run away? I am a prophet already. Let us say, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm a prophet. I'm saying, let us say, I'm a prophet. And this angel, he spoke to me hundreds of times already. I, he gave me many, many chapters already. Now he said to me, oh, Christian prince, why will run away? Give me a reason why he will run away. Uh, I'm looking at the dictionary now. In the, in the meaning of flee, it does not mean a poo. I'm sorry. No, no, the, meaning, says, the word flee, my friend. Run away. Run so, away. Uh, my friend, I told you, the word flee, you run away. The word, the, he, do poo, poo it says whenever he went out, whenever he go out to do poo, -poo he do, he hear the voice, and then he flee. Flee, me run away. So whenever he go out to do pupu, he hear a voice saying to him, Oh, Muhammad. And then Muhammad, he go crazy and he's in the way between his legs and he run away. And then he went to his, uh, the, to Waraka, which I believe he is his father, real father. And Waraka, he said to him, Well, next time, if he, if you hear the voice, remain in your place. So when the caller call him, so that he hears that he has to tell him, so again now, and when he went out, he heard the calling, Oh, Muhammad. 
he said here I am Muhammad answer back here I am at your service whoa, whoa. the caller said say I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah Muhammad is taking Shahada that he's a messenger have you ever heard of a crazy thing like this Muhammad taking a Shahada saying that there's no God but Allah and Muhammad is a messenger and he is Muhammad you see I'm going I'm going to go crazy you know one of the one of the reasons I'm not I, I can't find a job because each time I apply for a job they say to me you are crazy and I understand I'm reading too much Quran Uh, he used to go to maybe fleeing from danger. This is what I what I danger? What to danger? I do. I I listen, listen. That, uh, this angel, listen, 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 my friend, my friend. A message. It is very my, hard my, to my, believe. My, my friend, my friend. What do you mean hard to believe? Everything in the Quran is hard to believe. Everything in Islam is hard to believe. I mean, is it is it make 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 sense for you that an angel came to Muhammad and said to him, read it three times, and he squeezed him each time? That, does that does that make sense to you? No, does not make. Sense. So why why you believe in it then? Because look, maybe it is not authenticated. I don't know because I don't. Uh, this is what Muhammad I said. Contact with the hadith. This is what Muhammad I said. Never read it. Okay, hold on. Do Muhammad know how to read? Uh, uh, he know how to talk, but uh, if you read him, he can read it back. But he, he okay. didn't know how to write. He didn't know how to. All right, so he know how to talk, thank God. And he know, but he do not know how to read, right? Uh, I think some, uh, after uh, he received the revelation, maybe, no, I don't know. All right, sure. now when the angel came to him first time, he said to him, read. How, yes. why the angel saying to him, read, if Muhammad did not know how to read, what do you think? Uh, maybe because uh, he wanted to prove that the is what can you can you put the uh, surat al uh, yeah it's surat? in front of us it says here huh surat al alaq i think it is yeah uh, yeah surat al alaq chapter number one verse number uh, verse number one and two okay so now allah is saying to muhammad read <coughs> allah swear by the pen by the way I, have you ever heard of god swear by the pen what pen allah have a pen no, the, uh, look, when the Bible, uh, look, I am not going to agree on you that because sometimes the Bible used metaphorical on uh, some people. No, no, this is, a, can, this is a real pen, uh, my friend. The, the, I can show you your prophet saying that the first thing Allah he created is the pen. The pen, if the pen does not make a physical pen like No, no, Bible, it's a physical pen. pen. I can oh, show you uh, even. Listen, listen, I can show you. It's not real pen. No, 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 no. Metaphorical my, pen. my friend, my, a, my friend. Yeah, maybe a speech. <laughs> no, no. Because I, I can show uh, my instrument. friend, listen, yeah, was, was, that be, need pen my right? friend, listen, I can show you your prophet saying that this pen, the distance of its height is the same, the distance between the earth and the heaven. Do you want to show you? Yes. Okay, hold on. It's a physical pen. It's not a metaphorical pen. Okay. Uh... Let me get you the reference. All right. We will go, we start with this one first. We go on this hadith. All right. Read with me, please. Do you see it in the screen? And uh, wait. And uh, known by the. Uh, hold on, let me. Let me. Let me Hold on, hold on. Let me let me open the hate for you correctly. Oh, here, here we go. Read it for me. No, no, this is the hate I want you to read. And, uh, the prophet Look, still, in this hadith, it does not say 
It will be I'm sorry. It says. It says. It says. It says. It says. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It says. It says. This is hard. My friend. Okay. Okay. My my friend. It just says he said to it right. My friend. My friend. Did he create? Does it say he created the pen? Uh, yes, he created. Okay, yes. that's me. It's real, not metaphorical. It right? can be a speech, yes. No, it says pen. The pen is a pen. But it, wait, it says it can be this pen. Yeah, we are talking about my friend, and he said to him, write. He said to him, write. He created the pen, and he told the pen to write, not speech. Do you well, see? Look it? at uh, why there is, uh, you know, uh, what is called uh, a write. Uh, the word write is inside. The, what is called? I forget. Uh, there's these two. It means, look, so we are disagreeing here. You are saying this pen is physical, and yes, I'm saying it is metaphorical. Okay, can you I'm show me? By that. Okay, I will give you five minutes. I will give you five minutes. You go to Google, and you find me one Muslim scholar. He agree with you. Can you do that? Okay. Uh, I will try to do it, but uh, may, uh, how many times you are open? Because I need to go to sleep, because uh, it no, is 2 a.m. Just uh, subscribe, a. subscribe, my friend, to the channel. And uh, we open. I subscribed every, it. Oh, uh, uh, I will yeah. take the answer maybe. Every Sunday, every Sunday, every Sunday, uh, around four four thirty, we open New York time, and then we have uh, Wednesday and we have a Friday. However, during the week, I open two in different times, so you can you might be able to catch me up. All right, okay. and thank you for calling, and you're more than welcome. You sound like a nice guy. And I'm I'm glad that we you called. No need for bad words. We just haven't compromised. I'm not. Um, did I say? I have bad English. Did I say? Did I say about? Did I say a bad word to you? Did I say any bad word to you? No, no. Uh, I'm saying uh, when we talk, we don't need to to use bad words. Not. I'm not saying to you. In general, I'm saying. Yeah. I'm not saying you well, say to. As long as you are against bad words, my friend, you should be against Muhammad because Muhammad he called us najis. He call us kuffar, yeah, uh, he call us dirty, he call us pigs, he call us monkeys, he call us the worst of the creatures. So if you are, you know, if you are... But uh, those people, uh, he's saying it is the bad Christian. It is not saying all the No, Christians no, there is nothing is called bad Christian. This is what no. I understand. Your God, your God, your prophet, he, he described us, all of us, saying all of us, we are the same. The Quran says that the Christians are the worst of the creatures, all the Christians. Same he says about the Jews. So, if you are really against speaking bad, then you should be against your prophet. Now, just before you go, have you ever heard of something? It's called Allah al Mahfuz. It is the God created. Uh, it is a part of the Quran, I think. Uh, all right. Before, uh, is is Allah al Mahfuz something real or no? It has to be real because uh, okay. God. Uh, it is God's so speech. It's a, it, 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 it is a it board. Is, it, it is, is a, in the board. Okay, it's a board. Yeah. No. All right. Now, in the front of us, the hadith says, according to your prophet, that uh, the Lawh al Mahfud, Allah, He put it between the two eyes, uh, or let us say, He uh, 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 he, gave, he gave a protection uh, to Allah al Mahfuz for an angel. His name is Israfil. And the distance of the ear of this uh, Israfil between Israfil his. Israfil uh, is uh, the angel who is going to use the. No, 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 he will not use it. No, no, no. This is Israfil, not in Jibril. Israfil is the angel who is in charge of a protection of the uh, of the uh, uh, tablet. Now, Allah, he put the tablet between his two eyes. And obviously, this, this Israfil is so big and so huge. And the distance between his eyebrows, this angel, is the same as the distance of 500 years between the earth and the heaven. Now, why the board of Allah is so big and why he need it? Uh, uh, it is a very easy question. You know why? Because if you, why God became a uh, man? No, we, you don't we, have, we, we don't want to believe it. I cannot make you disbelieve it. We, Sometimes God, God do stuff that we don't understand. No, no, no. This, you see, I have no. We understand. I have a pen. I have a book because simply I have a short memory and I need to remember. Yeah. So if you give me your phone number, I will say, okay, hold on, let me write it down. Why? Because I am not God, I forget. Mm. Correct? Yes. If we can't remember everything, there's no need for a phone book. There's no need to take your number down. There's no need, mm. that's it, I read it once and that's it. So this is God, he's almighty. Why he need a tablet? Uh, because we don't know. We, I cannot answer that because it's just a... Uh, 
That's right. what he chose to right. do. Why, why the tablet? Okay, why the tablet is so big? Is so big. If the Quran is what is there, why it's so big? I mean, I can write the Quran. There's a guy from Pakistan. He wrote the Quran in an egg, an egg, an egg. Do you know how how small the egg? One egg. Mm. So he wrote all the Quran in one egg. So how? Why Allah? He need all this big tablet for? I don't know. This is the answer. All right, I don't know. All right. Because we don't know how God uh, works. Right. No, it's obviously. Sometimes, it's obviously. Sometimes Allah has a pen, my friend. Allah has a pen. It's a physical pen. It's so big and so huge. The tablet is so huge and so big. And it doesn't make sense that Allah, He write to Himself for Himself, for He is all God, His God Almighty. He will not forget. And He do not need a book to write for Himself. And this book, nobody can touch. Nobody can see. Nobody even can get close to. So, what's the point of it? Mm. That doesn't make yeah. sense. Anyway, I will let you think about it. And as long you are, it's time for you to sleep. I wish you a good night, my friend. Oh, okay. And thank you for yeah, calling. To do you all, uh, yeah, no, no problem. Mm -hmm. God, God bless. Thank you very much. See ya.